Okay. I'm Brian Widmeyer with the Dover Township Fire Department and Deputy Chief. Uh, we were dispatched out here today for a residential structure fire, smoke from a bedroom. While we were en route, uh, I was approximately one mile out and observed a heavy column of smoke, uh, which uh, determined that it was going to be a working fire. I immediately upgraded and added additional tankers to haul water into the scene since this is a non hydrated area. Uh, crews arrived. We had fire uh, showing on the Delta or the Bravo side of the home, uh, fire through the roof on the rear of the home. Uh, crews at that time deployed lines. Fire then came through the entire uh, center of the home's roof and we made it a defensive fire, which means all uh, fire attack was done from the exterior. Uh, nobody was injured. The homeowner and pets made it out. At this time, the uh, cause is undetermined, under investigation, and uh, crews are going to be in the process of overhaul. No injuries to anyone on the scene. Chief, I thought I heard something on the scanner about possible explosions or maybe it was just the, the threat of explosions because of propane tanks? That's correct. There's uh, propane tanks that were on the Delta side of the home that were used for heating. Um, they never did become involved. There was a believe a propane cylinder in the rear of the home that was venting off upon arrival. Um, crews just pulled that down and then shut it down. Um, again, no injuries, no exposures to any other homes. Um, at this time, the fire is under control, um, but we're going to be on scene for an extended period of time with uh, overhaul. What about uh, a damage estimate at this point? Uh, it's going to exceed 150000 how many uh, residents and pets were displaced? There's uh, two adults and one teenager. I'm not sure on the number of pets. But only the uh, uh, female uh, was, was home at the time? The That's correct. The, uh, the, the home, one homeowner was home, the other was at work. Um, and like I said, they, she made it out safely with the pets. Find the point of origin or not? not at this time. Um, we don't make a determination on suspicion. Um, it's just under investigation at this time, as, as any fire would be. Who's fire marshal? Uh, right now, the Dover Township Fire Marshal, uh, Glenn Jansen, is going to be handling the investigation. If need be, we would uh, contact the State Police Fire Marshal. Uh, we'll make that determination a little later. Chief, I can see there's some wires down just, just right over your, your, your shoulder there. That's correct. Was, was that a challenge for you or a problem? Um, it didn't really hinder us. We just had to make sure crews were aware of it because they were down and they were live. Um, once you get first get on scene, there's a lot going on, um, a lot of distractors, and we want to make sure guys don't get distracted or, dis or uh, complacent and walk over those down power lines. So we had them marked with cones and also made several radio announcements declaring that the lines were down. And just to explain again, you, you talked about it being a defensive, you determined it was a defensive fire. That's correct. Right because of the potential danger to... Uh, That's correct. The, the lightweight construction and the amount of fire showing uh, deemed it was unsafe to enter. Also, no life hazard was present. Um, all those factors go in together to determine if it's going to be an offensive or a defensive fire. Um, risk first gain assessment.